Hello all and welcome back to the channel, I'm the Ink Northerner. As you know, a couple of weeks ago there was the uh, the Black Country events, the second, and uh, I attended it. Um, I was hoping to get this video out sooner, but unfortunately I couldn't. Um, I've got some footage of the event, you'll have seen footage from other people's events, and, uh, and then I'll come back with, with the pickups that I got from there. All in all, the event was, was a success, I, I think. Um, it was a bit quieter than the first one, but that's probably down to the fact that it was middle of the month but unfortunately due to Oxford and some of the bigger events happening around that time this was the only time that, that uh, they could get that organised um, same place it was in the, the archery centre you know um, weather was fine my drive was fine it's, I, I didn't spend um, massive amounts of cash but it was still it was good to see everybody um, I can't remember who, who who let me go. Let me start. So let me see who I saw. Uh, it was big game out, um, and uh, Gernardino players. They came. We had um, Dale over Daily Retro, Retro Ed, and then as well as that stalling out, you had Dana and Ant were stalling. You had Tutti who was stalling with Darren. Um, you had Jimmy Retro, I think, um, Eddie Rollercore and Dylan um, have Trigger X. Uh, you had Mr. Goodwin, Goodwin's Place, uh, and also Retro Bear was there with the Retro Repair Bear. So yeah, I, d I didn't spend a massive amount, um, but I'll roll the footage now and then we'll come back and I'll show you what I purchased. Well, here we are, folks. Um, bit bleary-eyed. Um, not going to lie, I've had about five hours sleep. Um, but we are about to get in the car and make the trip to Black Country Events Gaming Fair, the second one. So um, I fully aim to make a video this time. The last time I aimed to make a video, I ended up talking to uh, Retro Kit's partner, and then that sort of like took took out of me the the want to make a video and. Uh, I really just want, I was more than happy just talking to Nikki, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's get on the road. Well, I had a couple of trips to make. Um, first one was going to be to Starbucks, but that's ruled out. So we'll go to McDonald's.
So, some brief footage there of the event. Um, honestly, it, it was a good event. It was good to see everybody. Um, and hopefully, uh, you know, they, they run it again um, at the beginning of the next year and, and hopefully people people come. Um, so, yeah, I didn't, as I say, I didn't really pick up too much. I was walking around looking at stalls. I'm struggling to get stuff that I actually want. Um, there's still original Xbox that I need, but the ones that I needed, most of them would, had, weren't there. Um, so I, I picked up a few, no, none of this is Xbox actually, um, a couple of PlayStation 4 games. So first one that I picked up is because I'd never heard of it. Um, it's Where the Heart Leads. Uh, it looks like a walking sim, if I'm honest. Um, it was reasonably cheap, it was £10. Um, you know, I was happy to pay that for a game that I've not really heard of. Um, and then I also picked up Hero Land. I think I've got this on the Switch. Um, and you effectively you play some heroes. It's like a turn-based strategy game. Um, that wasn't expensive either. That, that was from the same seller. That was £5. And then uh, the day before we had drawn the game for the... Um, the 52 game challenge the book club thing that we're doing um game club i guess that we're doing and um and I, I i was looking for a copy of this on the playstation 3 because this was the game that pulled out completed it on the xbox one and the 360 um so i picked up murdered soul suspect on the playstation 3 um it was only four pounds similar price to what it is in cex and in fact one so that was all the real games that I purchased. The first thing that I purchased though was this box. And I purchased this from Eddie over at Rollercore. Um, now, what he did say to me was, it was only the box with the, the extras. It didn't actually include the game, which was fine. Um, he gave me this at 25, I think. Um, it had all the all the additional piece, bits and pieces including the, the the big art book that's under there it's still sealed and then I thought you know what I'm driving on my way home um, I, I was I, I was in Leeds for something and on my way home from Leeds uh, I went to the White Rose Centre and I picked up a copy of the game to complete it it is a game that I have wanted to play I just never got around to buying the game and I've actually packed up my um, my 3DS stuff um, so uh, that potentially will be a display piece somewhere um, once I work out what I can do with some of the uh, some of the shelving and things and yeah that was it that was that was all that I picked up at the event um, again hopefully um, it runs again I'm, I'm looking forward to it again it's a nice small informal event for local people really um, we just travel because obviously we have known the, the organizers um, but yeah, that is, that's all that I have for you today. All that's left for me to do is thank you for watching. I have been the Ignoring there. I will catch you on the next one.